George Floyd's death has began a nationwide outcry for justice and change, with demonstrations both peaceful and turning violent. Floyd was unarmed when he was suffocated by a Minneapolis police officer. Tonight, officials at the Phillipsburg Osceola School District are addressing a racially insensitive photo recently posted by a student that intended to mock Floyd's death. Arvin Hinckley spoke with the school district's superintendent. He joined us now live from Phillipsburg. Um, so, Evan, um, can you tell us how is the district handling the behavior, this behavior? Good evening, Amanda. The picture and its caption following it, we're told, has been widely shared on Twitter throughout the community. This, according to Phillipsburg Osceola Superintendent Dr. Greg Palladina. We've also been able to confirm that the one posting uh, this photo and caption is a male student who's going to be a senior at Phillipsburg Osceola. Uh, but, however, he still is a minor, so his name will not be released. In a social media post that legally we don't have permission to share, a Phillipsburg Osceola student posted a picture of himself on the ground with someone kneeling on his neck, reenacting how 64-year-old George Floyd was killed. The caption to the photo read, quote, I can still breathe, I'm not dead, something is off here. As a district, we don't agree with this at all. Um, we find the comments to be inappropriate, and we are going to work with our students to make sure that they're better educated and uh, more sensitive to things such as this. Superintendent Dr. Greg Palladina says this happened outside of school, and so far the district, finding out about this post Tuesday, has not taken any action on it. Right now, the district is speaking with their attorney on whether or not the student will be disciplined. The student obviously made a mistake. But, you know, we won't tolerate that kind of behavior in our, our district. I've talked to the family. The student knows he made a mistake. He seems to be penitent for it. I'm not in the place of um, issuing forgiveness or not. I, I'm just um, knowing that the, the student has had um, you know, threats to his own safety and talking to his family and, and he interjected it himself into a national state that he, he knows nothing about, is my opinion on it. We do want to offer an update for you there. George Floyd is 46, not 64 years old. Paladina, also speaking with the family, says that through the family, he's learned that the student is very remorseful, is sorry for what he did. However, he says that still does not excuse his actions. And again, in the future, it's currently up in the air as to if the district will punish the student in any way moving forward. Reporting live here in downtown Phillipsburg, Evan Hinckley, WTAJ News.